Hey everyone, welcome to the Global NLP Lab, a place where we discuss the latest in natural language processing research. Subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. This video has been created with the partial help of GPT-3. Today, we're discussing an exciting new development from OpenAI, ChatGPT. This chatbot has been trained to interact with users in a conversational way and is a sibling model to the Instruct GPT bot, which is trained to follow instructions. We're going to dive into the methods behind ChatGPT, discuss its limitations, and look at how OpenAI is iteratively deploying more capable AI systems. Let's get started. Methods. So, how did OpenAI develop the ChatGPT model? They used a technique called reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, which is similar to the methods they used to develop the Instruct GPT model. The difference is that they used supervised fine tuning instead and had human AI trainers provide conversations in which they played both sides, the user and an AI assistant. The AI trainers were given model-written suggestions to help them compose their responses. To create a reward model for reinforcement learning, OpenAI had to collect comparison data. This consisted of two or more model responses, which were ranked by quality. They did this by taking conversations that AI trainers had with the chatbot and randomly selecting a model-written message. They then sampled several alternative completions and had AI trainers rank them. Using these reward models, OpenAI were able to fine-tune the model using proximal policy optimization. They performed several iterations of this process until they were happy with the results. Ultimately, ChatGPT was fine-tuned from a model in the GPT 3.5 series, which was trained on an Azure AI supercomputing infrastructure. Results. ChatGPT achieves impressive performance that seems far superior than previous GPT series. It can answer complex questions about the world, generate and solve coding questions, write creative text, give clarifications, and many other things. Here we have an example where ChatGPT gives a fluent description of a theorem and then answers follow-up questions about the use of the theorem in cryptography. ChatGPT really feels like a big improvement from the previous iteration. Limitations Whilst ChatGPT has achieved some impressive results, it does have some limitations. For example, it sometimes produces plausible-sounding but incorrect or nonsensical answers. This is a difficult problem to solve, as during RL training there's currently no source of truth. In addition, Training the model to be more cautious can cause it to decline questions that it can answer correctly and supervised training can mislead the model as the ideal answer depends on what the model knows rather than what the human demonstrator knows. ChatGPT is also sensitive to tweaks to the input phrasing or attempting the same prompt multiple times. For example, given one phrasing of a question, the model can claim to not know the answer, but given a slight rephrase, can answer correctly. The model is often excessively verbose and overuses certain phrases, such as restating that it's a language model trained by OpenAI. These issues arise from biases in the training data and well-known over-optimization issues. Ideally, the model would ask clarifying questions when the user provided an ambiguous query. Instead, the current models usually guess what the user intended. Finally, although OpenAI have made efforts to make the model refuse inappropriate requests, it will sometimes respond to harmful instructions or exhibit biased behavior. Iterative Deployment Fortunately, OpenAI are aware of these issues and are taking steps to improve. Today's research release of ChatGPT is just one step in OpenAI iterative deployment of increasingly safe and useful AI systems. They have already made substantial reductions in harmful and untruthful outputs achieved by the use of reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. 
OpenAI plan to make regular model updates to improve the ChatGPT model, but are also eager to get user feedback to aid their work. They are encouraging users to provide feedback on problematic model outputs through the UI, as well as false positives and negatives from the external content filter. They are particularly interested in feedback regarding harmful outputs that could occur in real-world, non-adversarial conditions. So there you have it, a quick overview of the ChatGPT model and the methods behind it. It's an exciting development and we're looking forward to seeing how OpenAI continue to iteratively deploy more capable AI systems. Be sure to test ChatGPT with your hardest questions on the OpenAI website. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.